Right now, I'm going to show you the quickest and best way to replace a background inside a photograph in Photoshop. <laughs> Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. So today I'm going to show you very quickly and very easily the basic steps for replacing the background on a photograph. You need two things. Number one, the photograph with the boring background. And number two, the background that we're going to drop it against. Now a little tip, if you're shooting the photograph, shoot it against a plain background. In this case, I shot this photograph of Callan against a gray, seamless paper, savage paper. So what we want to do is place her into a different background. So the fastest way to do this, I'm in Photoshop CC. I'm going to go to the quick selection brush here and I'm going to choose select subject. Now Photoshop is going to use AI technology to make a selection. So it actually knows this is a person and it's going to do its best job. Now there's definitely some areas that we can touch up on here. With the quick selection tool active, hit the left bracket key to go down to a very small brush. Now I want to add this little area to my selection. So I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key and just tap once. So all I'm doing is just say, hey, this is an area I want to cut out. And if you see any other areas like that, just hit the Alt or the Option key to add those to the selection. Or if you want to remove them selection, just paint over them. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to refine the selection. So we're going to go up and select, select a mask. Now we can see this is our basic outline. Now yours is probably going to start off like this. So all I did is took the opacity. I pulled it all the way down. And we can look at this against different colors by clicking here. We can preview different backgrounds. So we can see what it would look against white, black, with a mask. When we really want to refine it, we can go into the mask here on black and white. Or well, onion skin just shows it against transparency. So why don't we go against white? So right now we have a ragged selection. Don't worry about the hair yet. What we're going to do is we're just going to make sure those edges look nice and clean. So this is my technique. I like to choose show edge. And now we just go under radius here. And all we're going to do is increase the radius until we see a thin outline. There we go. So what this does is it gives Photoshop a little bit of an edge to work on to get a nice smooth edge. Now let's fix the hair. Turn off show edge to show the entire image. And now you're going to grab this little refine brush. You can see it looks like a, a hair or fur. That's going to be on by default. So we want to change the size of the brush. Just hit the left or right bracket keys. And what I want is about there, where it's just a little bit bigger than the hair, and I'm just going to drag around the edge of the hair. Let's go to the other side of the part. Let's go into this little area here. And try to stay away from smooth areas such as the skin, and just focus on the edges of the hair. Let's go in there. Notice I'm only painting over those areas where there would be some transparency. Don't go crazy and start painting over other areas that you really don't need to. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's make sure there's no holes or anything by just clicking on overlay. And we can see that's looking pretty good right now. So the next step is we want to bring this back into our document. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Where it says output, we want to choose a new layer with a layer mask. And then just click OK. And now we've got a cutout image and we can put it against any other background. So why don't we put it against that background that I shot in Colorado there of the Air Force Academy. So making sure that we select the layer and you'll see the little white box around it indicating it's a layer and you can see it's linked to its mask. We want to hit the move, move tool. The V key will do that or just select the move tool there and notice we should be able to move this around within the document. So now we want to take this to our new document. So we're going to drag up. You'll see that tab will open. I still haven't released yet. I'm going to move down into the middle. And now I'm going to release and it drops my photograph in there. Now obviously she's way too big and we need to resize it. So we're going to hit Control T or Command T on Mac. Brings up Free Transform. And sometimes it's too big to see those transform handles. So here's a little trick for you to find those. Hold down control, just 
click Control Zero. And that would be Command Zero on Mac, Control Zero on Windows. And now we can see our bounding box. So now we want to scale this. The best way to do it is to just click and drag in the corner. Now, if you're on a version of Photoshop earlier than Photoshop CC 2019, you'll need to hold down the Shift key when you do this to constrain that shape. And then we're just going to hit Enter. And we've got our cutout. Notice there's a little white edge around there that sometimes appears. Select on the mask there. Make sure the mask is selected. Grab a brush by hitting the B key or clicking on the brush. And what we want to do is make sure that we've got black selected as the foreground. Now we're just going to drag down there. Now here's a quick way to drag in a straight line. Click. Release, hold down the shift key, go to the bottom of that line, tap once more, and it will draw a straight line in between. And there we go, we put our photo against a background. Now this is a very basic tutorial. I have other tutorials that show you how to match the colors and how to do shadows and all those other things. Check those out here on my channel at Photoshop Cafe. And if you like these kind of Photoshop tutorials that are straight to the point without the hype, subscribe to Photoshop Cafe and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single Tuesday. Also hit that little notification bell so you know when I upload those new tutorials. So anyway, I have a question for you guys. What is the biggest area that you struggle with inside of Photoshop? Drop it in the comments underneath and I'll make a tutorial to address those big concerns that you have and help you on your journey learning Photoshop. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, smash that like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.